so hi everyone in this video we will be describing the anatomy of the perineum so we have here to start off with which is the clitoris underneath the clitoris comes the urethra underneath that we have the vagina and then we have the anus right so it's important to understand that we can broadly divide this entire space into two triangles so if i just look at it as a one triangle here this becomes the urogenital triangle and this becomes the anal triangle so obviously i have not drawn it as a triangle but i'm going to draw it now all right the reason being you have the ischial tuberosity somewhere here okay so this ischial tuberosity and the ischial spine are the regions which will help you delineate them into triangles so then when you look at it this way it becomes a urogenital triangle through this and then it becomes an anal triangle below all right this is important to understand now what is important clinically you have these muscles here okay so if i peel off the skin from this entire region you will have sort of a bulbospongiosis muscle which is coming here okay this is exactly how your bulbospongiosis muscle is going to be a part of it we are going to cut off okay you have the transverse perineal muscles it is divided into superficial and deep transverse perineal you cut these off even during episiotomy you have your ischiocavernosus muscles small muscles not very big here okay these are your ischiocavernosus muscles they go just below the clitoris somewhere there obviously you have the sphincters here so i will draw the internal sphincter because internal sphincter is a part of the rectum and then i will draw the external sphincter here that's your external sphincter and it is obviously connected to a huge series of muscles above in that plane and that is going to be your levator ani muscle now these are the important muscles which you need to remember so let me just quickly go and label everything here you have the clitoris here you have the meatus this meatus is of the external orifice okay of the urethra this is the female pelvis this is your vaginal orifice okay very important this is exactly what we see this is your anal orifice now along the anal orifice as i already mentioned let me label the muscles in red color for everyone on this side this muscle is your ischio cavernosus muscle you have your bulbo spongiosus muscle you have two muscles two muscle groups here actually i will just label them as superficial and deep okay transverse perineal muscles remember this entire region is the this entire region we forgot to label this entire region is called as the perineum all right here you have the external anal sphincter and this is your levator ani muscle now just remember one thing levator ani muscle is actually going to be palpable around 2 cm in the depth in the vagina so if you just put your finger somewhere here 2 cm in the depth you will be able to palpate the levator ani muscle but as students you need to remember that when you give an episiotomy it is this group of muscles which you end up cutting okay you never actually reach the levator ani in the episiotomy unless you've like really gone very deep as students it is very important for you to understand this obviously you have these empty spaces so these spaces are not empty these spaces are then going to be filled up with fat it's very important you understand the anatomy of this fat because it is this fat here as well as the fat here of the ischiorectal fossa okay so you have the fat at both the places okay so i will just i will just label this as the labial fat the reason why i am labeling it as labial fat is because it is a labial fat pad which can be used as something called as a marcius graft all right very important in surgery and here you have the ischiorectal fat okay this ischiorectal fat and ischiorectal fossa basically are very very important when you deal with anatomy especially in cases of fistulas so you should understand you should try and understand your perineal reconstruction whichever you do is going to involve reconstructing all these muscles okay which means that in cases where you have a deep injury here 
that means when you are looking at a third or a fourth degree tear in the perineum okay when you have a perineal tear it's important that you end up repairing the external anal sphincter this is point which people miss out on you should also end up concentrating on the internal anal sphincter which is right here this is again people miss out on and remember you have these muscles so you always have this layer of muscles before you go and repair the sphincter inside that dead space in our future videos we will also try to look at how you will form a martius graft and how you will be able to concentrate on this anatomy so that you can heal the perineum in a much better manner thank you